Okay, y'all. So it's uh, Saturday morning. Uh, it's it's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, and that's the way it worked out this week. Not good for us, uh, really. Uh, we're all over the place now uh, because of the rain. Uh, and we're well, not really just the rain. If you know, if you know for sure it's going to rain, then it's not a big deal because you can move, uh, you know, move things around. But see, it rained just enough to, to, to throw the schedule into, into chaos. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not working today. Uh, I'm gonna uh, go on and do the skid steer door. Uh, I got everything it takes to do it, so uh, yeah. I gotta look at a video. There's a guy that did one and he made the bead really high, like I was saying yesterday, around, <clears throat> you know, around this. And I'm pretty sure that all you got, well, all you guys that uh, have commented in the video that might know that the primer goes on everything. Uh, I mean. Look how small the print is on this shit, man. I mean, I mean, I have a headache reading that crap, man. Uh, yeah, I like the bare metal here. Uh, and it's, it's scuffed up a little bit too, and that's okay. Uh, it'll make it bite a little bit better. Uh, they say that they got a, like a little cotton ball thing to, to, you know, spread this stuff out with. I don't have a freaking cotton ball or any kind of an applicator. I might have to go down to the house and try to find something. Yeah. I might put the camera down. I got to think about what I'm doing, man. Uh, so I'll put y'all on time lapse up here on the man lift. Okay, y'all. Uh, like I was saying in the shop, uh, I'm going to go over here and look at this job. Uh, and pick up... Uh, an applicator, one of them little cotton balls on a freaking wire, you know, that they use for piping and stuff. Uh, it's be the second Mother's Day uh, since my mom passed, uh, and it's, uh, you know, um, it just makes you think. It, it, it really, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, I'm just, a little nostalgic you know uh, everything is so green man the grass is really taking off uh, everywhere and see normally I wouldn't even go and look at this job uh, today I would if it was if it wasn't time sensitive she's wanting time sensitive and a lot of times when you do to me you know a lot of times when you are dealing with time sensitive type jobs where they got family coming, their graduation, whatever, right? Usually, uh, well, it can work to your advantage if you got, if, if you're able to jump into that time frame. So, I don't know about this job out here. This job, <clears throat> based on what she told me yesterday, uh, it, this job is, uh, well, it's gonna have to pay me twelve or thirteen hundred dollars a day minimum. You know, for, you know, I'm gonna have to make at least twelve or thirteen hundred dollars over here, fifteen hundred dollars, or it's not hardly worth it. Now, this this morning, I hate being in this spot where I'm having to travel so far to go look at a job, and I don't have anything going on on the way there or on the way back. It's that's not my normal way I do things uh, but considering the other job got put off and I've been planning on the other job and I have scratch and clawed at the schedule there's gonna come a, a day uh, that, that, that we're not gonna have uh, anything to do because of that skitzier job getting uh, moved or whatever and I don't know they they're saying they still want to do it but man there's a lot of things that can happen when people start having surgery and stuff especially elderly people uh, you know god forbid something can happen to her uh and then that changes everything so i'm praying for her to get well soon and i'm praying for her to 
have a successful surgery and you know about all you can really do. Uh, so I was just counting on the work. Uh, the weather just, again, you know, the weather just screwed us all up, man. I'm pulling in on the street over here. Uh, I just passed the house. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm going ahead to turn around, but as I'm doing that, I'm looking at the other properties here to kind of get a feel for the neighborhood and what uh, everybody else is doing and uh, you know, that kind of thing, so, uh, wow, this one right here looks terrible, this property right here, ooh, ooh, mm, man, I bet they got all kind of problems right there. See, these are nice. They, they, they got these yards looking pretty nice, man. Uh, shit. I guess this is it right here. So here's one of the stumps right here, man. I just wanted you to kind of see, I'm gonna send him a video. One of the stumps right here, you see how big it is, my feet? And it goes all the way around. And then there's another one right here. Uh, and of course, all around too. The driveway edge is gonna be really a pain. Uh, basically all the stumps in the front yard. You got a few little roots here. There's a stump up there in that bed right there. See that? Uh, another big one right here. Just get it down below grade so we can get grass growing in here. They had a new pipe put in right there, so you're not gonna be able to dig right there. There's another one right here that needs to be dug down. You need to get down about seven or eight inches on that one. This one right here is probably gonna be the biggest one. Uh, you know, you know. See how it goes all the way down to the street? Get as close as you can to the curb. Uh, yeah. And then, according to how much you're charging, uh, you may have more done too. Uh, it's just too much for me to dig out. Uh, got one right here. This sweet gum right here and another sweet gum right here. That sweet gum's gonna grow back if you don't do something there. Uh, in the back here, there was something right here. I don't know. Uh, gotta be careful around the house. It looks like there's a big stump here too. Uh, but she seems to think that they, that they shot all the chips, the wood chips from the trees they dropped back here, right here. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, and then a few more stumps to grind. So it's really gonna be more than what uh, I can really do with my machine. All right, so and here's another stump right here. I mean, and I'm, I'm sure, and all these trees that are marked, they they're gonna take them down. Not me, but they are. There's a lot of, got a lot of potential, but you gotta, it's gonna be get ugly before it gets pretty for sure. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you those stumps, man. Uh, and then maybe come back over here. I will after you get done, and I'll do the do the grading. Uh, you got a big, big, big one right there too. But she wants them all in the front yard. Not so concerned about the backyard, but if it makes sense financially, you know, she you can go around the side of the house there. So yeah there's another one right there uh so we'll, we'll just see i will uh i'll edit this and send it to you 
Okay, y'all. So y'all saw that job. Uh, that's not going to be a job that I can go in and do right now. Uh, it's just not. Uh, the stumps that she has are way outside of uh, what I'm, what I'm, what I can do to make money. Uh, but I do know some folks that's in the stump grinding game, and I will be in contact with them. And we'll just kind of see what they, you know. That just shows you, man, how uh, half-ass contractors are. That was just such the stump grinding over there, and it's not her fault, you know. She, I think she's willing to spend, but whoever she bought the house off of they ain't willing to spend I mean so at the end of the day it's, it's about uh, just a contractor doing sorry ass work that's just sorry man and you know uh, I don't see how people even stay in business like that you know it makes me it, it makes me look like a freaking master out here because these you know these companies come and they and they do work like that and it ain't even about having skill or not it's really about just finishing the job and doing it correctly uh, none of these I mean I, I pull up on jobs all the time where they're having to pay somebody again to do the same thing when it's some grinding guy that did those ground those stumps over there if he'd have spent about 15 more minutes on each stump they'd be gone and it wouldn't be any more he have spent another hour, hour and a half over there. He could have got them all down and made it where somebody could, could, could grow grass. See, I don't know what I could do to help her because it, it, it's it's too bad and, and it's and it's not an open space enough for me to really be able to get going good. But it just shows you, man, how how slack you know people are, man. You know. just seems to be like makes me I mean it just makes me look like a million bucks like like you know because there's no way that I would have done all those stumps over there and ground them down like that and call that a, a good job not me terrible man it just looks terrible uh, I try to call my stump grinding buddy and he might be willing to go over there and do it, but he's gonna want he he, he he's gonna he's gonna charge the money though, uh, cause it's a long way from the house, man. He might not even go out that far, and if he can't if he can't do it, then I, I I'm not gonna want to do any work over there, man, until we can figure out the stump situation, cause I can't be effective. Uh, you know. I am gonna be uh, doing uh, be doing the the door today for sure so let me get home and this is my only obligation today uh that i have made outside of, of uh you know doing some stuff in the shop so i took care of that and I, I mean i i mean i could i could work for her and i could i could make money uh working for her but i don't have a sump grinder you know and she really just needs a stump grinder out there for now. She understands things cost a lot of money. It costs a lot of money to get things done right, for sure. Because whoever paid to get them stumps ground down, she's going to have to pay again. So, maybe not double, but uh, it's going to take a lot to get all them stumps gone. Now, my guy could come over there with his big grinder and, and do it. Uh, he has a stump grinder that uh, that his machine will run. My machine will probably run that stump grinder, uh, but uh, I ain't into borrowing equipment. I don't do that. So, and I'm and I'm not gonna rent equipment either. Not for a job like that. I just let him make that money, you know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going. I'm I'm pulling up to the pull up, y'all. Deuces. Okay, y'all. So 
Uh, I'm back out here. I got to know, though, before I put this back up and before I put this window back on, I got to know. I, I got to know if I can drill a small hole in it. I'm just dead curious to know because there's so much online that I read about. Well, uh, some say you can, some say you can't. I want to see if I can drill a hole in that lip. And it's going to be a tiny hole. I think that if I could drill a few holes in it, and I'm talking about little bitty holes, y'all. I'm talking about holes like that. That that'll give a play, uh, give uh, a little more uh, bite to it, to where the the uh, the window well will come into it, if you will. But I really just want to see if I can drill a hole in this. I don't know. And I may screw the whole damn piece up. I don't know. We're going to see. So let's check it out. Uh, yeah. I think I should, I should be able to drill a hole into it, man. Don't y'all think? It did it. Wow, shit! Let's just go on and go on and do this, man. Cause uh, I'm just I'm just playing with the inevitable. Uh, I'm gonna go on and mount it back. Uh, after reading some of the comments and all, uh, I'm not gonna screw it this time. But if I have problems with it again, then I'm gonna go to another solution. Uh, so I'm not gonna be taking this door in and out and taking this glass in and out very many times uh before i figure something out so uh even if i have to go back with the glass whatever i'm not going to be fooling with this door so uh they say that this window well and and the primer stuff it doesn't like to stick to the uh poly door i don't know you know i mean uh but i'm gonna put y'all on time lapse and i'm gonna prep this and we're gonna go on and get this thing set down uh on here and uh, so we can start setting up, all right? Okay, so uh, I'm fixing to apply the primer. It says allow the primer to set for about five minutes. Y'all know I got this and that today, a Napa. Uh, so it says you need to shake it up real good. Apparently this stuff is some real hardcore chemicals. I don't even know, man. Uh, Cause it's, it's, it's got a date and everything on it, you know. So let's just see. Should dry pretty, it's pretty good weather. It's about 80 degrees outside, uh, but it's a nice little little breeze, man. So, mm -hmm. get that, oh yeah, nice. So the glass is ready to go. All I got to do with the glass is just put the primer on it. Uh, but I want to go on and put this bead on here first because it won't take no time to put the primer on this. Because uh, it might take me a few minutes to get that bead on there right because that stuff's kind of thick, man. So. Nice right there, that's a nice bead right there. That's the best one yet.
mês. The last time I got really nasty with it, and I did this time too, but not nearly as bad. So that's that, man, on that. Ain't nothing else I'm gonna do to that door until uh, probably tomorrow night or Monday. Uh, yeah, I got some other stuff to do though.